some douches. I'm uploading Final Fantasy now. And it's at the point. I stopped mid-battle because I gave you a Jimbo all my money to see what he would do and he didn't do shit. So. They just did the whole Lady Unaleska speech. Basically, self-disclosure that religion is bullshit, and it's hope for the people. And sin is probably a metaphor for, like, the bullshit that they tell everyone to drain our energy. And when you talk to, to Unalesco, you go up into the stairs into the fake space with all the glyphs and the spheres. And then she tells you how they have to harvest your energy for the purposes you know, you can't be like, yeah, there's a bunch of like crazy hybrid humans that never went extinct that are running all the banks and eating kids. And religion protects them. We can't tell them that. You can put it in a video game. Anyways. I haven't even looked at any of the crazy witches coven bullshit. I will say, looking at, like, yes, I did the religious shit, mainly because I had what's known as a as a um, astral projection experience, and I wanted more of that, and I found out that religion has. The truths in religion are covered with so much bullshit that by the time you find those truths, you're going to, like, have to detox. That's the best way I can say it. But, um, that's because of the system that we live in. Think about it, like, just for example, right? Because of people like Pete Diddy who are being funded by people like Lucian Grange and all the other bullshit, and they're in their own cults and all that bullshit. Because of a shit like that, allegedly, Gordon V. Hinckley can't just be like, hey, everyone, there's a massive cult that is using kids as, uh, as, as drugs and food. That's why there's so many celebrity chefs. They cook, allegedly, humans for these cannibals and hybrid humans. And I, I don't mean like reptilian hybrid, sure, whatever. I, I think it makes more sense to me that there's, like, some kind of, like, humanoid, like, the way there's a wolf and a dog, than the humanoid, like, probably interbred with a regular human, and then that would look like some kind of a human, maybe with extra teeth and fingers, six fingers, two rows of teeth, and they would probably eat humans. So, whatever that is, probably is what's con controlling all the banks. The shit that P. Diddy has done to him... Those weird hybrid humans, probably conehead fuckers, probably did to the bankers, and shit rolls downhill. How do you get past all that? The iron rod, which is a metaphor for don't fall for their bullshit. Like, do I, like, again, like, I'm not going into it. I'm not, like, out there, like, trying, like, I think, uh, like, Osh is a very wonderful person. If th that, That's just what it is. I, I feel no shame in any of that bullshit. But obviously, people who, like, get fucked by P. Diddy for money feel lots of shame about that. So, I mean, like, so you can't, there's so many nuances there that they say just don't do any of that shit. It's easier if you just don't do any of that shit. You'll go to hell if you do. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, if God really means God, uh, gold, oil, diamonds with the little g, because all the bankers, and going to hell pretty much means being in debt. And not being able to, to, to control your life. That's the gist of it. You can't say that. Instead, you got to be like, go to institute, pray every day, go to mission, watch the more, and then like, watch the Mormon movie, because like they can't just be like, they're trying to traffic your kids. They have to be like, make sure that you know where your children are for family home evening. I still think it's bullshit. I still think that people should, like, I, th I think that if you want people to, like, actually 
get better in life, you have to like take all the bullshit out of it. Just like the metaphor of Final Fantasy X, Spira has been a thousand years in the cycle of sin, and it's not until they cut the lies out and fucking finally solve the problem, which is going to be you, Yevin, as a parasite and takes over every summon. Uh, it's all a metaphor. This is exactly why I'm, I was not at all surprised when I found out the Mason Temple thingy in Tokyo is like the super one. I was like, no fucking wonder Final Fantasy makes... Even Final Fantasy, like, because Squaresoft was a... Uh, first they made Rad Racer, and it didn't even do that good, although I liked it. But then, according apparently Final Fantasy, they were like, this is our last shot at a company. We're bankrupt. We're going to put this game out, and if it doesn't do good, then we're toast. So it's Final Fantasy. They were like, let's take a biblical story, like what J.R.R. Tolkien did with The Lord of the Rings, and put it into a video game. And we'll make you be the main character. You are the warrior of light. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. Anyways, I don't know what else to say. I, I just I just want to play Final Fantasy. Stephanie's like blowing my phone up again. I, I don't... Once I realized that you were the girl I met at Night for Freedom with short hair, and once it's been put in the indictment that it was P. Diddy and these other pervos basically forcing you to do crazy bullshit, okay, so hurry the fuck up. With the politest way possible, I've got a massive boner, and I appreciate that you and the Witches Coven are making articles about how, like, oh, I want to reclaim my marriage, but my vagina is so tight, and even when I try to use baby oil and lubricant, it's still so tight. Believe it or not, that's a good thing. That's like, I call that the honeymoon phase. Not because, allegedly, not because, like, going on a honeymoon, but we can totally do that or whatever because you're hot. But I mean, like, when it's that tight, it literally will take like a month to get it all the way in. I've been through this before. You have to like, the, at first, like, you have to be patient because eventually it's worth it. But it's a whole lot of like just cuddling and getting the tip in and then her like shuddering and all that bullshit. Like, but once you get to the point where you get it all the way in, it's like you're in. It's awesome. It's like you have sometimes you have to like mold it to your cock. I don't know how else to say it, but so that's a good thing. If you notice in Final Fantasy X, as another analogy, when Maester Seymour kidnapped Yuna and forced him to force her to do the fake marriage thingy, and she had to kiss him against his will. Right after that, Titus rescues her and he plows her in the underwater date. My buddy Young, I'm not going to say your last name, from, from high school, if you're watching these, you were 100 bajillion percent correct. Korean bitches are super cunty. There are so many hoops to jump through. Like, even if it wasn't P. Diddy, there would still be all these other hoops. I can just tell. So bullshit. Hurry up, Stephanie. I'm not texting you all day. Just hurry the fuck up. And stop all the other bullshit. 